It started as a slow drift. At first, scientists barely noticed the moon shifting toward Earth. But now, 150 days later, the effects are impossible to ignore. Massive tidal waves are swallowing coastlines. Earthquakes and volcanic eruptions are becoming more frequent. The moon's gravitational pull is intensifying, and the worst is yet to come. But how did we get here? What would happen if the moon was on a collision course with Earth? And is there any way to stop it before it's too late? One year before impact. At first, there would be no obvious signs of disaster. The moon, currently 384,000 kilometers, 240,000 miles, away is a silent guardian of Earth's stability. It controls tides, affects climate, and even plays a role in keeping Earth's axial tilt steady. But as the moon starts moving closer, its gravitational influence increases. The first noticeable change, higher tides. Waves would slowly grow stronger, creeping further inland. Coastal communities might shrug it off at first, but scientists would sound the alarm. Something is very wrong. Six months before impact. By now, the moon is 250,000 kilometers, 155,000 miles away. Tides are surging at unprecedented levels, reaching up to 5 meters, 16 feet, high in some areas. Cities like New York, Tokyo and London would experience chronic flooding. The weight of all this shifting water puts extra stress on Earth's crust. Pressure builds along fault lines, leading to more frequent and severe earthquakes. Volcanic eruptions intensify, spewing ash into the sky and disrupting global temperatures. Agriculture begins to collapse. Crops are struggling due to shifting weather patterns, and fresh water sources are contaminated by salt water. Food shortages and mass migrations begin. Three months before impact, the moon is now 100,000 kilometers, 62,000 miles away. With its gravitational pull now nearly four times stronger, tides reach a staggering 30 meters, 100 feet. Entire coastal cities are wiped off the map. The atmosphere becomes more unstable, triggering Category 6 hurricanes, tornadoes, and superstorms. Some regions experience constant flooding, while others are plagued by long-lasting droughts. With the moon pulling harder on the planet, Earth's rotation starts to slow down. Days become longer, throwing natural rhythms out of balance. Animal migrations are disrupted and ecosystems collapse. One month before impact, the moon is now 10,000 kilometers, 6,200 miles away. The sky is no longer dark at night. It's illuminated by a massive glowing moon dominating the horizon. The tides are now so extreme that inland areas flood within hours. The gravitational pull is causing pieces of Earth's crust to rise and fall. Entire land masses are shifting, triggering megathrust earthquakes that could split continents. The stress on Earth's atmosphere is also intensifying, causing frequent meteor showers as debris from the moon begins falling toward Earth. One day before impact. With just 24 hours left, the moon is only 2,000 kilometers, 1,240 miles away. Its surface is cracking under Earth's gravitational stress, sending lunar fragments hurtling toward us. Massive chunks of rock, some the size of cities, bombard Earth like a storm of asteroids. These impacts ignite firestorms across continents. Tsunamis stretch thousands of kilometers inland, and the sky turns black with debris. Human civilization is collapsing. Governments issue final warnings. But there's nowhere left to run. As the moon collides with Earth, the energy released would be equivalent to billions of nuclear bombs. The impact would vaporize the entire atmosphere, boiling away the oceans and turning Earth into a molten wasteland. The shockwave would be powerful enough to crack the planet's crust, possibly breaking Earth apart entirely. Survival? Not a chance. Can we stop it? 
If we detected this disaster early enough, could we push the moon back? Scientists might propose using nuclear explosions, giant rockets, or even gravitational tugs to redirect its path. But with something as massive as the moon, would we even have the technology to stop it? Or is this scenario Earth's inevitable doomsday? Let us know what you think in the comments. Subscribe to Skywatchers HQ for more mind-blowing space scenarios.